Hey there everybody, this is the last and final video in our Types of Reactions series and we're going to do net ionic disassociation reactions. So this is where an ionic compound will dissolve in water and it breaks down into the ions that make up that compound. So let's start with sodium chloride, again just table salt, and let's go look at our periodic table. Now our periodic table shows that sodium is in the first column and so it has a plus one charge and we know that chlorine is in the 17th column so it wants to gain an electron so it has a minus one charge so then when we go back to our question we got NaCl so we said before that this has a plus one charge and that this has a minus one charge so it's going to create sodium plus ions, which are dissolved in water, so it's aqueous, plus chlorine ions. Again, dissolved in water, so it's aqueous. So whenever you see these ions that make up a solid, you know that this is a net ionic dissociation reaction. So let's do aluminum hydroxide. Now, aluminum, we can see that this has a 3 on it. So that means that we know a hydroxide ion has a minus one charge, but there's three of them. So that's minus three. So then we know that the aluminum must have a plus three charge in this state. So when we go to write our reaction, we have aluminum with a plus three charge in its aqueous form, and then we have three hydroxide atoms, or molecules, I guess. Again, dissolved in water. So that's how you do a net ionic dissociation reaction. Good luck and thanks for watching.